Good day to the evaluators. My name is Vilashin Rajagopal and I'm here to present my presentation entitled Isolating the Effectiveness of the Red Pump Oil in Preventing Oscillatory Stress Level in Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome because induced rights. Polycystic ovarian syndrome is an important disease affecting in human at a reproductive years. In these studies on PCOS, the etiology is still unknown about the better physiology of the PCOS and remains incompletely. It has been said that polycystic ovarian syndrome is caused by one of the factors, which is oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is a general term referred to the imbalance between the production of free radicals and ability of the body of the defense and their harmful effects by antioxidant. The mechanism of the oxidative stress in PCOS is not completely understood, but research studies suggest that insulin resistance plays a role in pathogenesis of PCOS and encourage the oxidative stress. The fruit of oil palm tree, which is a illicit genesis, is the source of antioxidant-rich red palm oil. The ingredient of the palm pollen contains a various vitamins such as vitamin A, vitamin E, and vitamin C, and mainly a tocotherino. Many research in the palm oil-related nutrition has survived mainly is a fatty acid composition and their micronutrients correlation with the health and issues. The null hypothesis is the red palm oil does not have any effect in preventing oxidative stress level in because induced red. Meanwhile, the alternative hypothesis of this research is the red palm oil does not have any effect in preventing oxidative stress level in because induced reds. The general objective is to determine the effects of the red palm oil in preventing the oxidative stress level in because induced red and the specific objective is to determine the antioxidant of properties of red palm oil and also to determine the level of oxidative stress markers in the because induced red that treated with the red palm oil. Methodology. We bought the red palm oil from the market and saw in the room temperature around 40 female preckle belly rats that displayed two consequent normal four days of estrogen cycle chosen in this experiment. The rats are split randomly into five separated groups with eight rats in the each group. The rats are grouped as shown below. In control group, the adult treatment are given. In negative group, the group of rats will be given lithrosol of 1 mg per kg dissolved in 0.9 natural chloride orally for 28 days with no treatment. In positive group, this group will be treated with the metformin orally and followed by lithrosol. In group 1, the group 1 will be treated with the 200 mg per kg of red palm oil orally and followed by the lethrosol. In group 2, the group of rats will be treated with the 400 mg per kg of red palm oil orally followed by the lethrosol. In order to access the estro cycle of the rat, the vaginal smear of the rats collected to monitor before and after the experiment to make sure the rat have a stable estro cycle. And also we monitor and measure the physical parameters, which is a body mass index BMI value of the rats three days once. Antioxidant of palm oil is done by a DPPH assay. The DPPH free radical method is an antioxidant assay based on the electron transfer that produce a violet solutions in methanol, which is used to measure the ability of compound to act a free radical scanger and to evaluate the antioxidant activity. The rats were sacrificed on 31st of day and blood sample obtained from the rats on the same day of the experiment and serum collected by centrifuging from the blood sample. The enzyme associated immunosorbent assay kit used for the test which called as ELISA and I use a biomarker such as a melody MDA as an oxidant, total antioxidant capacity as an antioxidant, and glutathione as an antioxidant to evaluate the oxidative stress level in because induced red. In result and discussion part, first is with antioxidant of red palm oil. The DPPH activity is directly proportional to increasing the extra concentration. The percentage inhibition of the DPPH increase with the increasing extra concentration, which means it's content antioxidant. 
The value of absorbent decreases as the antioxidant concentration is increases. The higher the concentration value, it's contain the antiradial component and its indication for the presence of antioxidant compound with less concentration. So that the palm oil contain a rich mixture of a phenolic compound with the potent antioxidant and radical scavenge activity to suggest that it's widely reported capacity of the palm oil to modulate the effect of oxidative stress on serum and antioxidant. In previous study findings suggest that palm oil and methanol extract are able to scavenge the free radical by either hydrogen or electron donating mechanism and can be therefore act as a primary antioxidant. It contains a vitamin E tocotherinol which acts as a super antioxidant and the carotenoid in the red palm oil is also act as an antioxidant and prevent the cell damage. In MDA, the MDA level is treated group significantly lower compared to the negative group. The level of dose, low dose, which is group one, is lower compared to the high dose group, which is group two. So that this shows the free radical in the, is the main cause of lipid peroxidation process. The MDA is the end product of products peroxidation of the polyunsaturated fatty acid. The previous study indicate the prolonged use of letrozole induced oxidative stress resulting with trouble. The red palm oil has a high level of antioxidant and this helps to reduce the level of oxidant. Treatment group significantly decrease on the level of MDA than untreated group in this study. Shows the red palm oil significantly reduce the level of oxidant. In this GSH, the treatment group displayed a significant increase in level of GSH and compared to the untreated group. The treated group, which is group 1 and group 2, has a high level of GSH due to the antioxidant of red palm oil properties. The GSH is most significantly intercellular antioxidant that helps in prevention of oxidative stress damage caused by free radical. The GSH concentration in the blood was significantly reduced, which also indicate the oxidative stress. Reduced glutathione GSH is a non enzymatic radical scavenger that eliminates the free radical generated from the oxidative metabolism. It detoxes the reactive metabolism through the conjugation with the sulfyl group. In TOC, the pre-treated group is shows significantly higher level of uh, TOC than the negative group. Meanwhile, the positive group shows the significantly higher amount of TOC compared to the red palm oil treated groups. This result study shows the treatment of the red palm oil which contain uh, B carotenoid and the vitamin E may enhance the antioxidant enzyme vitamin and vitamin E in the red palm oil has been important role in the protection against the free radical damage. The red palm oil contain high concentration of a tecotherinol, which are free radical scavenging antioxidant. The higher value to the TAOC in the positive group suggests that metformin can improve the antioxidant defense system independently controlled. As a conclusion, the hypothesis of this research has been accepted. The association between the oxidative stress and the peak cause is the important issue in animal and human reproductive medicine. In the review, we summarize the current knowledge in the relationship between oxidative stress and peak cause and encompass the most important oxidative stress load in the pathogenesis of the peak cause. The cumulative studies to date yield an association between the oxidative stress and peak cause. Moreover, the oxidant and antioxidant may vary between the individual because of difference in diet, lifestyle, enzymatic, and dietary antioxidant. The measurement of multiple biomarkers of the oxidant and antioxidant may be a reliable indicator of the oxidative stress. Further study are needed to standardize the measurement units of each biomarkers to facilitate the compromise compression across the studies and also examine the mechanism of oxidative stress on because. The MDA level in the pre-treated group are significantly lower and the antioxidants such as TOC and GSH found higher in the pre-treated group compared to the negative group. This suggests that the antioxidant present in red palm oil can potentially improve the balance between oxidative stress and antioxidant mechanism in the PCOS. Thank you.